Say, kids, what time is it? Well, how dee doody, boys and girls, and oh gosh, boy, we certainly have a lot to do today. Oh gosh, we gotta figure out the, the new mystery of Mr. Buster. And the anchor and the ship and everything, but but you know, kids. Something that's the most important for us to think about, kids. Ah, oh, yes, sir, Howdy. I know what that is. Now, you know, boys and girls, today is the 4th of July. That means it's Independence Day. And, of course, Independence Day means freedom for everyone in the United States. Well, now, some of you kids are going to be seeing our, our July 4th show here a little bit later in the month. But you know, Howdy, actually, every day is a day to celebrate the freedom of, of living in America. So how about your song, Howdy? What do you say? Oh, good. Well, you know, kids, here's a song that all of you kids sing in school. And why don't you join in me with singing it? Because, gosh, it's, it's such a privilege to sing our wonderful song, America. My country, tears of the sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, lay a freedom rain. Ah, oh, good going, howdy doody. Well, now I think we ought to get over here to our kids in the gallery, and how about singing it's howdy doody time? Shall we do it? All right, here we go. Come on. It's howdy doody time. It's howdy doody time. Bob Smith and howdy doody. Say howdy doody. Let me a round and cheer. Oh, howdy doody's here. It's time to start the show. So kids, let's go, good kids. Oh, yes, sir, and kids. The first part of our show today is brought to you by three wonderful friends of mine, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, from the favorite cereal, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Ho, ho, ho. Snap. Crackle. Pop. Boom, boom, boom. We're in Kellogg's Rice Krispies, a real tasty treat. Oh, boy, delicious to eat. Fill a bowl with Rice Krispies for milk from the top. And here they are in person, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Ho, ho, the most famous hand puppets that you kids want for your very own. And right now, kids, you get out your pencil and paper so you can jot down how to get them. And we'll be telling you how in just a few minutes. That a boy, howdy. Well, kids, remember this anchor? Yes, boys and girls, this is the anchor that we found pinned on the back of the inspector's sport coat last night. You see, the inspector had been uh, with Dilly Dally, and he'd been asking Dilly Dally questions about anchors. And a minute later, what do you think? This anchor was on the inspector's back. Boy, that's strange indeed, huh? Say, you know, Holly, maybe Dilly Dally, maybe Dilly Dally put this on the inspector's back. Maybe Dilly Dally Why, thought that this... Silly oh, 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 hiya, Dilly. Oh, hiya, honey. Well, what do you mean it's oh. the silliest thing, Dilly? Well, well, it is because I didn't do it, Howdy. Well, I didn't think it did, Dilly. Dilly. Oh, well, that's good. Hey, what? probably Mr. Buster put it on the inspector's back, huh? Well, yeah, but Mr. Buster's been missing for a week now, and how could he have done it? Yeah, well, you're right. Well, then maybe Don Jose Buster did it. Well, huh? Don Jose Buster, no, he's been missing, too, and also for a whole week. Yeah, well, gee, that's right. Well, I didn't do it, Howdy. And Clarabelle didn't do it. No. Gosh, she was standing right next to me when it happened, and... Yeah? Well, I guess there isn't much we can do till the inspector comes right. back. I guess there isn't. You know where he is? He's, he's out in the Navy Yard trying to find out if, if anchors have anything to do with, yeah? with the secret code. Hey. Well, now, look, fellas, now, I, I wouldn't be too surprised if they did. 
Because now let's just look at what's happened here in the last few days. First of all, the inspector found an anchor on his back. Yeah. Then Heffel Sniffer Bugelgott sent a message with music. Yeah. And the music turned out to be the sailor's hornpipe, another uh -huh. song of the sea. That's right. Every sailor has anchors all around him on the ship and things. Sure. And then, secondly, two letters came from Mr. Bluster with anchors on them both. Yeah. And then Mr. Bluster sent us those two records, if you remember, that we played. Oh, yeah. And the records were, uh, well, they had music about ships and anchors. Yeah. And Don Jose Bluster sent us a, a record telling us to watch out for Phineas. Yeah. And also to watch out for the anchor. So you see, kids, it all adds up. Yeah. Boy, of course, I, I just don't know what it adds up to. You don't? Boy, if, you know, if Mr. Bluster were only here. Yeah, but he wouldn't show his face. No. Gosh, if he were here, I could, I could get him to answer back, and, and maybe I could get to the bottom of this thing. Yeah, uh, but, but Mr. Bluster isn't here. And boy, if, if Heffel Snipper Booglegut were here, well, Heffel Snipper Booglegut seems to know about everything that happened. Well, yeah, but Heffel Snipper Booglegut, he's in South America. Yeah, that's right. But it all opposes here. She sends you messages on it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Well, doesn't the Lollapalooza work both ways? Can't you send him a message, too? Well, sure I can, but I don't know what to ask him. Oh. Oh, wait! Oh, yes, I do. Please, Oh, gosh, we, we want to know if the anchor is a secret code. Yeah. I, I'll ask him that, okay? Okay, fine, sure. I'll bet it is a secret code, and I'll bet it's important. Say, that's right, Dilly and Howdy. That's exactly right. The anchor might be a secret code word. Yeah. Come on, Clarabella. Let's, let's find out. We'll send a message here to Heffel Snipper Google. Get on the bottom of lose it. That's the way. Now, Clarabella, get it all warmed up. Get the motor going. Got the motor going? All right, fine. Well, we won't, we won't crank it first, Clarabella, because I'm going to send this. Uh, I'll write the message right along here. You start the wheels are going, Clarabella. Is... A N C H O R is anchor A B C R E T is anchor a secret C O C T is anchor a secret code. H-D, how do you do? All right, there, that's good. Now, let's get that all going, Father. Go ahead. All right. Okay, there we are. Now, turn it off, Clarabelle. Turn it all off. There, that's good. Now, you know what we're going to have to do, Howdy? We're going to have to wait a few minutes here for the answer. Now, you know, kids, if the anchor is a secret code word, then this is the first time we've ever gotten ourselves mixed up with secret codes, Howdy. Boy, this should be exciting, huh, kids? Yeah. Oh, boy, yes, sir. Boy, it does sound exciting, Howdy. You know, I've seen lots about secret codes in books and movies, but you know what? I never got mixed up with one before. Oh, boy, I just hope that we solve it in time to prevent Mr. Yeah. Buster's plan from, from working. Yeah. Whatever that plan is. Yeah. Gee, how do you like that? What's the matter, Clarabelle? What do you want? Oh, big surprise for Clarabelle suit. You're wondering about the surprise I promised you, huh? Well, what do you want to know about it, Clarabelle? Oh, you mean, when will you get it? Well, we'll get it just as soon as we're going to try to get it. I mean, I, I, I don't know. You know, Clarabelle's going to get a big surprise, kids, don't you? And it's going to be a big, big, wonderful surprise. I can't tell you what the surprise is yet, Clarabelle, because if I do, well, then it won't be a surprise. So I promise you that I'll get the surprise just as quickly as I can, okay? And you're going to love it. Say, I... Oh, the kids... Kids, I wonder if you kids have any idea as to what the surprise is going to be. Do you? How about this little fella? Sonny, suppose you stand up here. What's your name? Dexter. Oh, Dexter, is that your first name? All right, Dexter. Now, uh, you tell me, what do you think the surprise is, the surprise that I have for Clarabelle? What do you think I've got for him? Might be a... Might be a picture. A picture? Yeah. Well, it could be. I'm not going to tell, but I want to tell you something. It's the biggest thing that you've ever seen in the world like it. Matter of fact, none of you kids have ever seen anything like it before. How about this? somebody else? How about this little girl? You stand up. Sweetie. Maybe What's... an elephant for him. Maybe an elephant for him? Well, pretty good guess, but I won't say. How about this little girl right Maybe next door? Maybe he might have a good part in the, in the, the where he's going to Philadelphia tonight for the, the 4th July. Oh, well, they were already there. We'll tell you a little about that later. But now, this is a surprise that I have for Clarabelle. And believe me, it's the biggest thing of its kind that you've ever seen. 
How about this little girl? I'm going to try one more. Well, what about you, sweetie? What do you think the surprise is? I think is? it's a little puppet show. A little puppet show? Well, I'm not going to tell you any more right now, kids. As I say, I have to leave it for a surprise. But you... Say, kids, look over here. It's time to meet our buddies, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. And you know we'd better hurry here, because you can always depend on them. They're always on time. Always on time. Well, gosh. I wonder where they are. Yes, sir, kids, aren't those hand puppets wonderful? And you know, boys and girls, that's the kind of fun that you can have when you get your snap, crackle, and pop hand puppets. Now, you see, kids, they're patterned right after those three famous little men who sing snap, crackle, and pop when you pour milk on those fresh Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Oh, and kids, what a cereal. You know, boys and girls, you never grow tired of that wonderful flavor of Kellogg's Rice Krispies. And now, kids, Here's all you have to do to get your snap, crackle, and pop hand puppets. Now, the first thing that I want you... Wait a minute, what? Oh, you what? <laughs> well, all right then, Pop. You see, kids, Pop here wants to uh, show a few of the tricks that he can do. All right, clap your hands for the kids, Pop. Come on. That's the way. Now, what are you going to do? Take a bow. Oh, that's cute. Pop's a regular little show-off, kids. And, you know, you notice how each of these puppets head is made of that soft, unbreakable plastic material. And besides, you know, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, they're all dressed in completely different bright costumes. And each of the three looks entirely different, except, of course, for a little family resemblance. Now, um, do you want just Snap? You say no. Or do you want just Crackle? You say no. Or do you want just Pop? Or you say no. Oh. <laughs> You want all three, of course, don't you? Yes, sir. All right, now, kids, here's how you get them. Now, first, you ask your mommy to get you a package of Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the Snap, Crackle, Pop cereal. And for each puppet that you'd like, send the Rice Krispies box top plus 25 cents along with the names of the puppets you want, either Snap or Crackle or Pop, and your own name and address clearly printed. And you send all that to Howdy Doody, in care of Kellogg's, Battle Creek, Michigan. Now remember, kids, you send a box top from Kellogg's Rice Krispies plus 25 cents. And you give the names of the puppets you want, Snap, Crackle, or Pop. And, of course, your own name and address. And you send that to Howdy Doody, in care of Kellogg's, Battle Creek, Michigan. Well, you know, kids, we told you we were going to tell you about that... Uh... Oh, listen. That's a lot of balloons. I'll bet this is the message from Heffel Sniffer Bogle Gun. Come on, Clarabelle, ring that bell, quick. Let's see what's happening. Get her all turned on. Get her all turned on. That's the way, Clarabelle. This is all. Here comes the message, Clarabelle. I wonder what this is going to say. Here it comes. Look, here comes the message. Look at that. Anchor. Maybe a secret. Code word. Anchor may be a secret code word. Will take. Will take me two days to find out. Apple snipper. Google. Okay, Clarabelle, turn it off. Well, what did you think of that, kids? Anchor may be a secret code word. Will take me two days to figure out. Heffel, Sniffer, Google Gun. Boy, you know, kids, that must be a tough, tough code if it's going to take Heffel, Sniffer two days to figure it out. He's pretty fast with things, you know that. You know that, sweetie, don't you? What's your name? Debbie. Hello, Debbie. <laughs> well, I certainly hope that Heffel, Sniffer is going to fix us up and help us out with this one. Howdy, do you know that if it takes Heffel Sniffer two days to figure this out? Do you know it must be a tough code, Howdy Doody? Oh, gosh. But oh, boy, oh, boy, when Heffel Sniffer finally gives us that answer and we find out what that code means, 
Oh, boy, kids, then we can really go to work and, and try to stop Mr. Buster's plan. I... Oh, gosh. I just don't know what to do first. Well, I guess I just better wait and, and see what happens. Oh, kids, look over here. Ho, oh, ho. It's Colgate Dental Cream time on the Howdy Duty Show. Ah, yes, sir, Howdy. And kids, that means it's time for Howdy and me to sing our little jingle. So you kids listen now as Howdy and I sing it. Go ahead, Howdy. Oh, brush, brush your teeth with, with Colgate. Colgate Dental Cream. It cleans your breath. What a toothpaste. What a clean your teeth. Colgate toothpaste cleans your breath. What a toothpaste. And it tastes so good. Oh, yes, indeed, Buffalo Bob. Colgate's taste so good. Ah, uh, yes, sir, it sure does. It sure does taste extra good. And do you know, kids, Colgate's has extra good news for everybody, too. As a, oh, now, Clarabelle, be quiet, will you, please? I'm trying to tell all the kids the wonderful news about Colgate. Uh, oh, Clarabelle, please. Help, Clarabelle. Now, here. <laughs> you have to hold your Fourth of July celebration right now. What? Will you say that this is not your Fourth of July celebration? Well, then what's all this noise about, Clarabelle? Now, Clarabelle, don't do that, please. I want to tell all the boys and girls the big Colgate news. Oh, that's what you... Oh, I see. Then this wasn't your Fourth of July celebration. Pardon me, Clarabelle. You see what happened, kids? That was Clarabelle's way of announcing the big news to all you kids. Yes, sir, and it is big news. Now, you know, published in this month's Reader's Digest, the research that proves that when you brush your teeth right after eating with Colgate Dental Cream, the Colgate way stops tooth decay best. Yes, sir, and you know that's very, very important because no tooth wants to get decayed and get a hole in his head. And, of course, that makes the Colgate Way wonderful news for everybody. Doesn't it, Clarabelle? Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, sir. And so, no wonder, the Reader's Digest published that report. Thanks. So, now, look. To keep your teeth happy, kids, you be like Howdy Doody and Clarabelle and me. And you remember that every time, right after reading, you brush your teeth with Colgate. Colgate Dental Cream, you know it's right if it's red and white. Ah, yes, sir, kids, it's wonderful news. The fact that brushing with Colgate's right after eating stops tooth decay best. So you tell your mother and daddy to read that July Reader's Digest. Oh, gosh, yes, sir, boy. Oh, hi, Billy. Yeah, good, Clarabelle. Hey, kids, you know that... That, that news, that, that, that news about the secret uh, code, boy, that has me really excited. Well, I can't too. wait until I tell the inspector about it. Oh, well, no, Dilly Dally. I don't think we should tell the inspector about no. it until we get the answer from Heffelstin for Boogle Guy. Oh. Because the inspector's at the Navy Yard, and he's looking for clues of his own, and... Oh. Well, gosh, I don't want the inspector to get all mixed up or confused until Heffelstin for Boogle Guy no. tells everything about the code. Yeah. And then, of course, we'll tell the inspector what... What, what Heffel Sniffer tells us, and then he can go to work. Yeah, I guess you're right, Howdy. There's no sense pulling the inspector away from the Navy Yard. He may find some clues there. Yeah, I guess so. So yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do, Dilly. We'll wait a day. Yeah. And then the inspector will know all about it, because we'll tell him, okay? Yeah, okay, Howdy. And meantime, yeah. how about showing the kids a wonderful old-time oh, movie? Oh, boy. And then maybe the inspector will be back with some clues later. Yeah, okay. All right, now, I, I want to talk to the kids a minute, Dilly. Excuse me. Yeah, all right. Please. All right, now, kids, look, all you kids, you call your mommies and daddies. Call your mommies and daddies in because we're going to show a wonderful old-time movie that they're going to like. Come on, let's call them. Yeah. You help me, Dilly. Okay. Oh, Mom, Dad! Hey, okay, Clara, you show us the old-time movie, and, and boy, I'll bet all the moms and pops will remember all these wonderful people in our Howdy Do the Old-Time Movie. Buffalo Bob, will you tell all the kids about it? Why, sure I will, Howdy. You and Dilly can sit with the kids here in the peanut gallery. And I'm going to tell you, kids, about this movie. Now, first of all, here we see two fellas who are what we'll call men of the country. They're sort of old fellas who've been traveling around for a long time together. They don't, they don't work any place. They just travel with the frying pan, a few matches to make fires, and they go out in the woods and they shoot an animal or two to get something to eat. Ah! 
But kids, look what's happening here. As these boys are out in the woods, the mounted police are looking for a fellow who is wanted for robbery. And his name is Pierre. Now, this is Pierre right here. And while the uh, mounted police are chasing Pierre, our two friends here. Now, this one fella is Bobby Dunn. The fellow who is shaving is Bobby Dunn. And the other fellow is called, uh, oh, we'll call him something. What would you like to call him, Dilly Dally? Any, anything at all? Uh, I think you ought to call him, uh... Oh, Flub, are you fine. here? Yeah, I just got in town. You know Flub, where I was? Flub, where were you? Yes, where I was. I know, Flub, you were in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, and we did a show, Howdy and I did. In fact, Howdy got back a little quicker than I did. Yes, I know he did. He came we did a show for the Blue Cross and the Sunday Bullet. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, it was wonderful. Did you meet a lot of boys and girls in Philadelphia? A lot? Boy, there must have been uh, 50,000... Uh, a, a, a bunch. A bunch. Yeah. That's nice. Boy, I saw a dope banana. He's one of the bunch. Oh, well, I'm glad, Flub. Thanks so much for being down there. Boy, I enjoyed it. Boy, they were swell to us. Oh, good. They let us breathe and everything. Flub, would you like to watch this movie with us? Boy, it was so hot down there, but we liked it. Yeah, I liked to watch the movie. Well, I'm glad. Now, I'll tell you, this, uh, this fellow Bobby Dunn here, he and his camping partner, Sam, we'll call him, uh, they decide to have some flapjacks. Huh. So Bobby Dunn is making the flapjacks. That reminds me, Pierre the chef was down there, too. Oh, that's right, he was, wasn't he? Well, oh. this Pierre is not a chef. Matter of fact, he's a bad guy. Oh. And Pierre is sneaking his flapjacks as Bobby Dunn throws them in the air to flap them onto the griddle. A lot. Right, he throws them up, and Pierre, he just catches them and eats them. Huh. He's flap-happy. He certainly is flap-happy. <laughs> Very nicely put. Yeah. So these two Mounties come along and they say to Bobby Dunn, uh, you haven't seen a big, big, tall man whose name is Pierre, have you? And Bobby oh, Dunn says, no, he goes to swing the axe to chop the wood for the fire, and he knocks Pierre out. He calls the Mounties back and he says, hey, fellas, come back here. I think I have your criminal. He knew he was coming, so he baked the pancake. Baked the pancake, that's right, a griddle cake. <laughs> So Pierre, of course, he's kind of angry at Bobby Dunn because Bobby Dunn, after all, was the one who captured him. So Pierre says to Bobby Dunn, I'm going to get you sooner or later for this. So now the two Mounties have Pierre. Clarabelle was down in Philly, too. Yes, I know that Clarabelle was there. Did the kids like Clarabelle? Yeah, you know what he did? I hope he didn't play any tricks. Oh, boy, did he play... He went... He went Pierre and... Oh, he, you know what he did? What did he do? He did the elevator dance. He did the elevator dance? Yeah. What dance is that? No steps. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. That's cute. So, uh, Pierre uh, gets away. You see, he uh, escaped from the two Mounties. And because the one Mountie was hurt so badly, they decided they'd make Bobby Dunn a Mountie. What happened? His gun didn't go off there. So now, watch what happens, kids. There's Pierre, Bobby Dunn, the new Mountie, chasing him. Well, Egg Fu Young, Howie, were you in I, Philadelphia too? Yes, I was down there. I was watching the entire procedure. Oh, well, oh, you have your wife with you today. Yes, I bring my wife with me. Hello, Mrs. Egg, Egg Fu Young. Short. Hello. Yeah, she shot Egg Fu. Yeah. Uh, say hello to Buffalo Bob. See him down there in the orchestra? No. What a clever and living wifey. <laughs> she can carry on like that. She knows another way, too. Yes. So anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, here is Bobby Dunn, who has now been made a mounted police. And Bobby is uh, tacking a sign to a post that says, Wanted the capture of Big Pierre. And Pierre is standing right there watching Bobby Dunn attach the poster. Oh. And Bobby is just scared to death. However, Pierre doesn't realize that Bobby has a gun. And now this girl is Bobby Dunn's sister. And she says, oh, Bobby, I'm so thrilled. I'm so happy that you yourself have captured Pierre. You'll get the huge reward all for yourself. I think it's something like $5,000. So Bobby says, don't you worry. 
I'll catch him. I'll take him back to the station house. Don't worry. So long. And Bobby walks one way, Pierre walks the other way, and for good luck, here comes Pierre around the bend, and Bobby then, of course, steps right after him and keeps the gun pointed on him. So Bobby tries to walk him back to the shack. Watch what happens to Bobby here. He steps in a big pot of water. Boy, oh boy. I, I like the picture, wifey. Oh, no. Oh, no. They all Say, rhyme with no. Say, Egg Poo Young, you, uh, you like chow mein, don't you? Oh, I like chow mein, boy. Is, uh, is, no. chow, is chow mein near Portland, Maine? Oh, chow mein near Portland, Maine. Oh, boy. What's that mean? <laughs> well, I, I thought you knew. So anyway, uh, Bobby Dunn is trying to get uh, Pierre, and he gets onto the horse. To run over and catch him, but the horse knocks him over like Absalom. Oh, that's uh, near Water Main, not Portland Main. Oh, near Water Main. Oh, yeah. pardon me, yes. On the corner. Yes. So Bobby, of course, is trying desperately to capture our friend Pierre because, as we told you before, kids, $5,000 reward is Bobby's if he catches this criminal, Pierre. So finally he gets on a horse, and he's off to try to catch Pierre. Well, kids, I don't think we have time to show you any more movie today, but we'll try to show you tomorrow. Do you think Pierre is going to be caught? You think he is? Yes, yes. Well, you watch, and we'll let you know about it. And, oh, kids, look, the inspector is back. Hi, oh, oh, hi, Inspector. Boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy, am I ever glad to see you, Inspector. Have you got any news? Did you uh, find any, any clues at the Navy Yard? No, no, honey, I... Oh, God. I haven't got any clothes, no. Well, well, did you find out any more about anchors? Nope. No, I haven't. I haven't found another thing about anchors. I did find an officer's hat, but, well, I, I didn't find any more about anchors, and oh, I, I I don't know if it's a secret code or not, Howdy. Oh, that's too bad, Inspector, but, uh, I wish you I know, I may have some news for you. Now, really? you'll only have to wait a day. Oh, boy, really? Why, well, what's up? What happened? Well, nothing yet, but you see, in a day or two, boy, yeah. I might have some big, big news for you. Oh, boy, And great. meantime, Inspector, I want you to keep checking on flags, would you please? On flags, okay, Every sure. single kind of flag you can find until you find a country boy. that has a flag with an anchor, an anchor. Okay, Howdy, boy, I'm, I'm tickle pink. I, I'll Good. come through, Howdy, because you remember, yeah. I'm the inspector. Yeah. And there's never been a mystery that I couldn't solve. That a boy. So I'll see you a little later. Okay, okay so long, you got some news anyway. Oh, well, thank you, Clarabelle. Kids, what is it? Hi! Oh, Hi! Yes, sir. And come on now, all you boys and girls at home and you kids in the peanut gallery, let's sing our Colgate jingle. All set now. Here we go. Oh, Christ. kids and Howdy and I both hope that you're going to brush your teeth with Colgate every time right after meals or snacks because that's the way to help stop tooth decay best. Oh, that's right kids. So for happy taste, you remember to use Colgate dental cream the way Mr. Smith told you. And that way, Colgate dental cream stops tooth decay best. And Colgate dental cream comes in the red and white box and you know it's right. If it's red and white. Atta boy, howdy. Well, kids, you know, we'll all really have to keep our fingers crossed here. Boy, oh boy, we got a lot of work to do. Yes, sir, because actually, I don't know what more could happen around here. And besides that... Oh, well, what's this? An anchor. Well, kids, look. The anchor. <laughs> NBC Television.